Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, round of 32 match between Mr. Pepino and his dwarves, and Rick Reckless and his undead. Um, Mr. Pepino with the absolutely standard about 1400 TV dwarf team with 11 guard, because one's on the bench, uh, 3 mighty blow, 3 stand firm, um, or only 2 stand firm, so a bit weaker against elves, and 3 would be strength up guy pretty good and a decent runner with a move up and blodge so um but pretty pretty standard pretty standard dwarf team you know min max dwarf team um the type that we've seen a hundred times before in chalice <laughs> and then versus rick's undead team which doesn't look like a typical undead team it nearly looks like a typical undead team because it's a bit undercooked um, benching two ghouls here on defense. Two rookies. He's got a guard. He doesn't have a ball carrier ghoul. He's got a guard ghoul there. Uh, I don't know if that's missed next or dead or what. Um, decent white there. Decent white there. But the added two hurts actually with you know, having the tactic pom on it. Um, Card some for mummy standard. The move mummy would have been great if he had more skills. Um, and yeah, this. Awful skeletons, you know, it's just just terrible. Rick likes skeletons and won't listen to anybody who tells him they're rubbish. <laughs> so that's that's the interesting wrinkle. <laughs> um, but yeah, skeletons are rubbish. There you go. The, uh, the plus movement zombie would be great if it if it had like guard as well. But it didn't. Going for the three assist foul. It's not great, is it? But I see like kind of on the head against the dwarves. Try to get lucky. Because if he doesn't get lucky, he's going out. Basically. Not that Rick probably has particularly high hopes for this, you know. Again, looks about 14, 1500 TV team. Rick's got a babe. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> neither of these teams are going to win Chalice this season. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler, neither of these teams are winning Chalice. But, um... I guess the dwarves have got more chance, right? The dwarves have got more chance of winning it. Because at least they could, like, you know, get a lot of inducements and stuff. And particularly in Blood Bowl 3, um, this kind of dwarf team is even better. But yeah, the, the dwarves could, could win Chalice realistically. They could get a good draw. Like, facing Amazons and such like. And even elves, right? Any elf team can lose to a min maxed dwarf team just randomly. Having a lot of tackle will just help. And they don't need as much mighty blow if their opponents are on the seven. I don't know if Daedal's fallen asleep, Daedal wanted to join for this, but isn't here. Doesn't push back the ball. I might have pushed back the ball. Like I know it doesn't really matter, but you know that one square of getting them back doesn't really matter. Oh, don't move any more game, please. <laughs> So I think you put you punch with this one first, right? So that if he gets the knockdown, you free the strength four to get forward. You want the strength four and the stand firm at the front, basically. Mm. 
I don't really like this so much. I would have rather this guy blitz, then he took the corner, and then he came. He came one, two, three, four, and filled in there, right? I would have had this guy filling in here. He's having the backside of the corner, just isn't as good as having him further forward. Oh, he's going further forward anyway. Okay, yeah, because you've got that for the back corner. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, this is the last one, yeah, El uh, Currently, the current season of CCL, barely anybody is playing. It's it's almost dead. I think about half as many as usual are playing games. There's been lots of stories about people not being able to get games in CCL. So yeah, this is pretty much the last. This is pretty much the last. Uh, the last chalice. Diced. I mean, amazing dice for Rick. It is what it is. Like, what what dice can you roll? Like, like do you know what I mean? Like, is, what what's he gonna do? The foul is the only really impactful thing. Like, give up on the score and foul a bit is probably his only course of action. Yeah, I know you said it sarcastically, but like, I don't think good or bad dice matter for Rick. If you see what I mean, like, I just think it's. <laughs> like what can he do? Like the the only bad dice he's got, I think, is the, is the foul because his team's so outclassed. Maybe he's just banged down and fa try and foul some out. Is all he's got to hope, look, hope for with the defense, <laughs> and then try and get the offense done and get into overtime with the toss. No, well, you know, I've got no interest. I've got no interest in A, playing more Blood Bowl, and B, winning an uncontested chalice. <laughs> Neither of those things are appealing to me. Down, so he gets another assist and could could GFI foul. Yeah, I like this from Rick. You know, he's, he is like playing to his outs, right? Like the uh, like the other guy with undead. Can't remember his opponent who just fouled all half and like removed the the other guy's team. But all Rick has succeeded is in removing two a zombie and a skeleton from his own team. So you know, I think he's done the right thing, Rick. It's just that in Blood Bowl, doing the right thing is often unrewarded. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any way to stop this with, like, a conventional defense. Like, un un again, unless you got amazingly lucky, like, you would have to, you would have to, like, blitz foul cars, blitz foul cars, blitz foul cars, and then maybe, you know, maybe they can try and stop it then or something, but it was just, it was just asking too much, really. Rick did well to win his first round. Was. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, Solar Terror, wasn't it? Solar Terror is under versus uh, the Lizard Man. Yeah, it, was, it was ridiculous, right? You just, you just fouled, cast, fouled, cast, fouled, cast. So if Rick had done that, he'd be in with a shot of winning this in like. Maybe he'd even stopped the score. But definitely, you know, had a chance of winning in overtime. Oh yeah, I remember Rick, Rick's first win was because his opponent uh, made an accidental 5 plus <laughs> Saurus dodge, didn't he? Yeah. This little bit of fighting is probably alright for Rick because he's, because he's got these up here. That's probably enough to make it so that the dwarves can't come down and fight in full force. Yeah. So, another Kaz. Well, not another Kaz, another player removed. Three players removed for Rick. I mean, lizards are always have that aspect to them, right? They're, they're pretty dicey. 
but like they're so strong with, with what they have but it's kind of easy for them to to like like they're, they're they're really strong but they're brittle aren't they that's the thing with lizards yeah he's he may, he may be over pursued with these guys right which has allowed rick to get up and bang on with mighty blow but before that he did everything right <laughs> Maybe over defending the ball now. But. Is what it is. This guy's really doing with things, and so we could have got another player here to try and. Oh, wow. Yeah, Rick has had pretty terrible dice thus far. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hello, space crimes. So, yeah. It's been a funny old game, hasn't it? So, that could have been the 3D, right? If he'd moved this guy up last turn when he could have done, he would have been in position to make the assist and have a 3D there. If you were watching Rick's channel last night, he had a game against uh, he had the practice game that he normally has against Elliot for this, and Rick did a wonderful move seven one turner. Um, in terms of the pushes for it, I, he, I think he failed the, the dice rolls to you know actually score it, but in, you know in terms of setting it up and that, it was very nice. But I think he's not going to get the chance to do the same one turn here. And um, Elliot just backlined. Or is Mr. Pepino is not back? Mr. Pepino must be an old mate. Like that's such a crazy, such a crazy team name. I mean, is this, is this a one turn defense or is it more just like an anti right defense? Pretty good though, isn't it? Having the stand firm on the sides. So we'll have a bit more in the middle. Pretty pretty cool setup actually. Pretty cool setup, I like this setup. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Really nice setup. The Jimmy defense is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to screenshot this and say I invented it. <laughs> um, more or less day fun, not many. Not many do, to be honest. Well, you got a removal there. Now, if you can get another one. Literally dozens of different players. There's the power. Two assist foul. Again, that looks like a bit of a crap foul, but I believe it was absolutely the correct play. Of course, Rick gets rewarded by getting sent off. So <laughs> he's made three fouls and got sent off on everyone, at least the bribe worked. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I might have fouled more than three times to be fair, but he's been sent off a lot. Like no effect. KO comes back. Yeah, it's rough. It's real rough. The first foul was the only one that didn't get sent off. Wow, there you go. So yeah, rotten. Rotten luck for Rick, but he's got ten players. <laughs> and he's got the ball. And if he only loses two more players this drive and then wins the toss and gets the score, obviously, there's a chance he can go to overtime and win. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Yeah, it just removes it. Just remove a bunch of dwarves. Oh, Wendy Tanner. Ooh, not blocking the Oh, he was It was just the way the camera moved, I thought he was blocking with a white face. Mm, I think I wouldn't have followed there with that. Because no. they can just jam in their own guard, can't they? Oh dear, nice little reroll. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> One in eighty one. This is not the dice. Wow. Did Cyanide find out that Rick said that Gautier's artwork artwork looked like a child had done it? <laughs> right. No more Rick dice for you. <laughs> wow. Dove, dove. And doves are pretty good, aren't they? I still kind of hate that this fantasy trope of dwarfs being good fighters. It's so stupid, isn't it? Being short, fat, and drunk doesn't make you a good fighter. <laughs> Yes, indeed, was it? Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, I don't even like that, right? Because you could have put in this guy and put the stun for him, but he hasn't got the dodge. Problem is, if you put the ghoul in there, then he's just getting quick and sneaky anyways. Glorious skeleton. The zombie wouldn't have done that. <laughs> probably, probably what Rick was thinking. <laughs> This is just awful, isn't it? Is this the day that Blood Bowl 2 dies? <laughs> Rick tragically out of Chalice. That's not really tragic, is it? This team's shit. <laughs> like, it's not a big loss, is it? Even if it is kind of going out with a whimper. You know, it's much worse if you lose with 2,000 TV high elves versus fucking Edge 6 uh, gutter runners or the wizard. Or, you know, if you lose with uh, if you lose with giant TV chorves or giant TV chaos. You know, something like that. But oh, you can look, you can run around the body because he's moving forward, but he's not going to, he's coming back. What one, two, three? He geified for oh no, there's a player there. It's like he's geified for no reason. What the hell? 
But he did use his movement. And he's always found some way of protecting the ball is a uh, is a lot to say, but you know doing something. It's more or less protected, isn't it? Oh, the double skull. Oh, imagine if it had been quads. It was nearly three out of four for quads. <laughs> the luck never seems to turn in these games, does it? But then a lot of that is perception bias because obviously the team getting diced gets up, you know, progressively gets in worse positions, which makes the good dice not matter so much, etc. Forced to make riskier players, not less chance of working. You can more or less consolidate here this turn, can't you? <laughs> the tide will turn. More pushers! <laughs> More or less keep this like non cage. Oh, there is the strength four back here. Though. We'll dodge. Mm, should the white have just dodged there? White could have gone one, two, three to there, which is pretty good. Where's the ghoul have the gear fire there? I think just this white. Oh, the white's edge two. Okay, the right, the white's edge two. Is he move three? No, he's not move three. Um, Rick, we have a problem. <laughs> I didn't think Rick would have stayed in range of that fella. Just going for that sideline thing. Hit moving everybody before he blitzes. There was a good chance to ball in the crowd, wasn't there? <laughs> the strength four gets the ball. <laughs> That's not a big deal, right? If he pals, he can free the money. She does. Honestly, this isn't that bad because it's like, I mean, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's not that bad because he's, uh,. It's like giving him a bit of a stall, if you like, isn't it? It's, it's giving him a bit of a stall. <laughs> Looking on the bright side. Um, oh, hey. <laughs> Truly a method actor, yeah. I've been, I've been preparing for my role of a intelligence aid character all my life. <laughs> yeah, I guess he could have blitzed with Russell, but then he'd need two assists, wouldn't he? Strength four, so. And then this way he got, a, he got a nice screen out of it. So I quite like this, honestly. From like. he, again, he has to like, he kind of keep has to making, kind he kind of has to keep making the high risk, high reward plays. I think. I think if he does the safest things every time, 
which is what, of course, I'm a proponent of. Um, Elliot and I are two of the more safer players that don't like taking risks, and Rick is more reckless, isn't he? But, again, that's just tendencies at the end of the day. You know, you have to mix things up, and etc., and you have to, like, the best player, whatever the best player is, is not always going to be the safest move, is it? It's always going to be the best. <laughs> the best move is going to be the best move, regardless of tendencies and stuff. So even if your tendency is for safe plays, there are definitely times when the best move will be not a safe play. And while I'm not saying that Rick's high-risk plays have been the best plays, um, you know, like, God knows what the best plays are, right? We haven't got Blood Bowl Stockfish. But I think getting in that mindset where flip me, guys, I've got to get lucky as flip to win this is definitely the right frame of mind to be in. <laughs> definitely. So I think going for those kind of moves that have a bigger payoff is correct. Yeah, I don't think anyone really cares about optimization kind of things, honestly. And which is fine, isn't it? It's just, uh, it's just, just a bit of fun. Yeah, and not just matchups, is it? It's like individual turns that, that, that everything. Like I, I think I'm pretty good at uh, assessing things, and. You know, but I mean, I guess most people think they're good at that. <laughs> Otherwise, they change how they assess things, <laughs> um, and it can fluctuate from turn on a turn by turn basis, kind of even. Um, I didn't get the power there, so now yeah, you can go through here. If you got the power there, I think you might have gone through this way. But Without the power, he goes through this way. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Razzle. Look, oh, the Dublin schools. I wonder if there's a clever move here. Oh, he's got stun firm. Right there. There probably isn't a clever move. <laughs> I mean, this is good from Rick, right? This is really good from Rick to get this breakaway. Probably shouldn't have blocked there. Probably should have dodged and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI or something, right? It's probably the best play. Like, obviously, 136, but still. Oh, and he's got tackle as well. And gets the armor break. Oh, outrageous! Wow, Rick, Rick. But yeah, did great to get that to get that breakaway in a chance. Is it not over, really? Yeah, it's not over. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass it to him in the end, so it's not over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it's about as close as it can fucking possibly be to over. But it's not over. Okay, now it's over. But he had about a one in a thousand chance or something, didn't he? Maybe he's less. Probably less, actually. <laughs> didn't happen. Box. Try and get SPP. Yeah. Oh, it is 
pretty good, Dicky. It is pretty good. And there you go. That is the end of Rick's Chalice Dreams for another season. Amazingly, the team with 20 AV breaks won the match. Uh, shocking development there in Blood Bowl. Congratulations, Mr. Pepino. Commiserations, Rick Reckless. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.